again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 11th of March, 2019. Article on Bloomberg, written March the 10th, 2019. Ethiopia joins China in grounding Boeing 737 MAX jets after crash. Shares tumble as China, Indonesia to halt 737 MAX services. Ethiopian Airlines disaster killed all 157 on board. Boeing Company Chief Executive Officer Dennis Mulberg faces his biggest crisis yet following the second deadly crash of a 737 MAX airliner, prompting airlines to ground the best-selling narrow body and threatening to end Boeing's three-year stock rally. China ordered its carriers to ground all 96 Boeing's newest 737 model, while Indonesia said it would also halt flights after Ethiopian airline flight 302 went down in the field shortly after takeoff Sunday, killing all 157 people on board. While the flight recorders have now been recovered and must be analyzed, the disaster bore similarities to the doomed Lion Air 737 MAX that also crashed in October. The 737 MAX is Boeing's most important aircraft type, generating almost one-third of the company's operating profit and forming the backbone of many global airline fleets who use the model in Airbus's competing A320 family on shorter routes. Boeing sank 8.6% to $386 in early U.S. trading. That would mark the biggest drop since January 2016 and pose a threat to the rally under Mulsberg, who has overseen a tripling in the share since taking over at the biggest U.S. exporter. Boeing has lost control of the timetable to provide the safe, reliable solutions that Neil Hansford, chairman of Australian consulting firm Strategic Aviation Solutions. The longer it goes, the more chances Boeing has of losing orders. The grounding in China followed by the Indonesian air safety regulator order to halt 737 MAX flights from Tuesday raises the specter of other countries following suit. South Korea began a special inspection of the aircraft, while in Europe, regulators said they're in contact with the U.S. counterparts as well as Boeing, but that's too soon to take action. Investigators have recovered the cockpit voice and flight data recorder Ethiopian Airlines said on Monday, a significant step forward in piecing together what happened. Well, what should happen is that every one of these airplanes should be grounded until they analyze what's on both of those recorders. This is completely insane. I don't know if you folks remember, back in the 1990s, the 737s, they had an issue. The rudder would snap over unexpectedly, and the airplane would go inverted, and pilots weren't trained on attitude recovery when you're upside down. I think they lost two or three fully loaded airplanes. They finally solved the problem by putting liquid nitrogen on that component and freezing it and then they saw how that affected the rudder at altitude. Whoever looked after the families of those lost ones, huh? Chinese airlines accounted for about 20% of 737 MAX deliveries worldwide through January and further purchases of the Chicago-based Playmakers aircrafts are said to have been touted as a possible component of a trade deal with the U.S. Second Boeing 737 MAX crash months kills 157 in Ethiopia. Fearful flyers lose faith in Boeing 737. I wouldn't get on a 737 back in the 90s, and I used to fly a lot. I had over a million miles on American loan. I would not get on a 737 airplane. China South Airlines Company has 16 of the aircraft with another 34 on order, according to data through January on Boeing's website. China Eastern Airlines Corps has 13, while Air China Limited has 14. Boeing says other Chinese airlines that have bought the MAX include Heyman Airlines Holding Company and Shandong Airlines, the data shows. Lion Air, which is based in Indonesia, is one of the biggest customers, having ordered 201 MAX planes and taken delivery of 14. A single aisle 737 MAX is supposed to generate about $30 billion in annual revenue as factory output 
rises to 57 jets monthly pace this year, according to Bloomberg Intelligence estimates. You know what's wrong with these airplane manufacturers? They're in competition, all right? You've got Airbus in competition with Boeing, so they're pushing out as many as they can to whomever they can. And who loses? People lose their lives. None of these airplanes should fly until they analyze the data on both of those recorders. There might be an inherent problem that can be fixed based on the data being analyzed. And to fly these airplanes and to fly passengers, they don't give a damn about the passengers. All they care about is revenue. You want to read the rest of the article? You want to take a look at how these companies are doing what needs to be done and others aren't. Southwest Airlines says it's confident in the safety of our fleet. How can it be confident when they don't know what the problem is? American Airlines will closely monitor the investigation. You closely monitor it, what if you lose another airplane? These airlines are totally irresponsible. They're just looking to make money. They need to wait until the information is analyzed on all of those recorders. Just like they found the hard rudder over issue. It happens, folks. Don't get on a 737 MAX until this thing's resolved. That's my advice. Thanks for listening. Read the rest of the article. It's most interesting.